Hi, everybody. Today, I wanted to show you how to do some fill in the blank activities right here in Smart Notebook. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Smart Notebook. And then you're going to come up here to the top gray ribbon and you're going to click on the little guy that looks like a Martian. When you hover, it says activities. Give that a click. This window will pop up and you are going to want to select the fill in the blank option. Okay, now here is where you'll type questions that you want kids to fill in the blank or to answer. It could be a question with an answer. So first grade knowledge coming in my head here. Let's put the answer in there. Can't type today, oh my. So you're putting the whole thing there, answer and all. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna add any text that you want, any question, any fill in the blank, okay? And then you're gonna come down here to this define blanks button. When you click that, it is going to give you an option. It gives you the, um, the finger pointer option to select words up here in the editor box, okay? Well, I want Richmond to disappear. I'm gonna want Cardinal to disappear and I want Dogwood to also disappear. And then I'm gonna say next, okay? It gives you a couple ideas for different things for themes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click um, monsters just cause it's cute. All right, and then it comes in <clears throat> with the choices you selected at the bottom, okay? You can just go ahead and say, got it. So now these are draggable, okay? And you could have kids come up to the board and click and drag to the correct spot in your question area, okay? When you click on this little star guy here, it gives you the opportunity to select a buzzer. Okay, so you could have two kids come up and select the buzzer. I'm gonna turn the buzzer back off. You can select the randomizer. So if you have, you um, do numbers in your room and you have 22 students, okay, actually let's make it 20. You just use your arrows, okay? And then you can select done. So now when you click the little top hat guy, he will generate a number for you, okay? 18, 18, please come on up to the board and they would select in random. So you would dismiss it for them in order for them to, to make a selection. Click on the hat again, okay, 15. Oh, 15's not here, okay, we'll pick again. Oh, 20, 20, come on up, 20 comes up and makes a selection, okay? To get rid of it, you just click on the star again, unselect the randomizer. One more thing I want to show you is the timer. You can select the timer and it puts it up here at the top, okay? It has the little wheel gear up there that you could select and raise and lower your time, okay? All right, if you wanted to actually end the activity, you could select that, all right? And then select done and the timer will start as soon as you hit the play button, okay? It'll start counting down and students would have that long. So that might be good for if you decided to use something like this as a station option, okay? And then the last thing I want to show you is the, the little digital phone looking guy here, the device looking thing. This can take you to um, Hello Smart, which is kind of, it was, We've used it in the past. I know um, lots of people have used it um, and you can send codes out to students. It's very similar to like a Kahoot or a, um, or a, or a, a Blook It. Um, and they can um, put that code in once you create an account 
with Hello Smart, very similar also now to Lumio. Okay, so if you have any questions with this activity or with this, um, please don't hesitate to ask. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Um, station work, um, whole group lessons, partner practice, collaborating, um, all kinds of things like that. I think it would fit nicely in with a lot of your content work. Okay, all right, thanks for watching.